in camp this year as a non-roster invitee. Two out, just getting started, top of the first no score. And a fastball high for it's beautiful, not a cloud to be found. And here's the 1-0 delivery now to Shaw. Swung on, line right center up the alley. That's headed for the wall. And that ball is gone. A line smash home run to right center field by Travis Shaw. And so the Brewers have an early 1-0 lead. I thought the ball was in the gap for a double. <laughs> that was a rope. <laughs> I mean, really. So Bassett, the first pitch that he threw out of the strike zone was the first. And it, it was tough anyway, but uh, who knows what could have been. Now the 1-2 breaking ball swung on and missed. Taylor strikes out, but the Brewers get the jump on the A's on the home run by Travis Shaw. 1-0 Milwaukee with the A's coming up. Allstate now has deeper savings, and deeper savings require deep thoughts and a deep voice. Like my yeah, absolutely, and uh, towards the end when nobody thought they were going to happen. Runner going on and picked off the throw down to second base, and it skips into left field. Lariano gets up. Nobody's covering third. He's going to wind up at third base. They had him picked off the throw to second base, and I think it was Travis Shaw in the shift who was over there trying to cover the third baseman. The infield comes in, and Moreland hits a drive into right center for a base hit, and that quickly the A's have tied it up. So Mitch Moreland, his first RBI in the spring is an athletic. He scores Lariano from third. The A's benefiting from a couple of Brewers' miscues, and it's one-to-one -one in the bottom of the first. Hustled the first, got picked off, hustled the second, the third, and scores on a base hit. E5, E3, single. He can do whatever he wants to. In a fastball situation. And the 2 2 pitch is swung on him as a fastball up and in. So Cousins strikes out. Second strikeout for Bassett. And after one and a half, he is in the Brewers in a 1 1 tie. Download the MLB app to get in game video highlights, live pitch by pitch, breaking news, player updates, stat leader. Through the campaign, the A's exchanged Austin Allen for Jonah Heim. And he drills oh. one to right. If it's fair, it's gone. And no doubt, a tremendous home run to right field by Allen. And the A's take a two-to-one lead over both bullpens and landing on the grassy hillside out there about 25 feet fair. I guess and they get Hader again, although it's only spring training. But it's a 2-0 count. And, you know, you fall behind. I don't care how hard you throw. You're going to be having a hitter gear up. And speaking of gearing up, it was actually, Ken, on August the 1st of 19 against the Brewers. And, and the um, veterans like Carlos Perez and Francisco Pena, Tony's son. Here's Laureano, a drive to right center. Back on it is Taylor. Taylor at the track. He'll turn and watch it fly. Two homers for the A's in the inning off Hader. Laureano goes deep to right center. And the A's take a 3-1 to one lead. You know, somebody throws as hard as Hader, which he threw him a fastball with a couple of strikes while he threw Chapman the slider. But he's providing the power. All you have to do is put a good swing, and Ramon Laureano is almost like a half swing, and he crushed it and went out without any opening of the Cactus League. If their defense had shaded this way with the bases loaded, Machine would have had a, a single to left field as the left uh, third baseman made a diving catch, and the A's lost that game by a run. Here's the 0-1 pitch, and hit down the left field line, slicing fair in the corner, hits the side wall. Two runs are going to score. Kemp goes from first to third on a double by V-Mile Machine. Throw comes to second. Kemp comes to the plate, backtracks to third. They've got Kemp in a rundown. Two runs have scored. They chase Kemp toward the plate, and he's tagged out and hugged by the catcher, Luke Maley, towering over <laughs> Kemp, who has a big smile on his face. And uh, the bottom line never did. Uh, and I, I used an 0 1 bat when I first signed, which was a Campy Campaneers type bat with no no knob. But I eventually went to an S2 and, and B267 models that had the knobs on the bats. But I never fortunately had a hammock injury. Ground ball into left field for a base hit. As Lariano comes through with a solid base hit, rounding third and scoring with a slide is Matt Olson. So good hustle for the Athletics today. Great two-out hitting. It's going to be a, a pinch runner for Laurie Bassett started. Jake Diekman pitched the fourth inning. was outstanding. And in this half the inning, the A's have scored a run. Three of the runs have come with two outs. 
There's a high drive, long drive to right center field going back. Is the right fielder, will not get the ball, bounces up against the wall, and Mitch Moreland cruises into second. Buddy Reed scores another two-out run-scoring double, this time by Mitch Moreland, and he's going to be removed for a pinch runner. Great swing by the A's first baseman today, and another run scores, and it gives them the lead now by a score of 7-1. to one. Seth Brown, very quickly. 3-2 on the way to Piscotti, and the pitch, a breaking ball hit hard to left field in front of McKinney. Coming around third base is Seth Brown. He's going to score easily. Rounding second base was Cosma in case the ball went all the way through. It did not, so the A's pick up another two-out hit. Great at bat by Stephen Piscotti, and now the A's lead by a score of 8-1. to one. 